Hey, good afternoon, Memphis. It is Tuesday, July 5th. Back there is the camera for Action News 5. Um, we are following up on a story from earlier this spring where uh, I posted a bunch of photos of the dilapidated uh, condition of Mud Island Amphitheater in the River Park. And in that article, Memphis uh, River Park Partnership stated that by May, they're going to have the river replica cleaned out. It's gonna be nice and the park's gonna be welcoming for visitors. But I wanted to follow up to see, it's now July, peak of the summer. Uh, people wanna be out by the water and, and in the shade that we've got out here in the park. So let's see the condition that visitors, let's see how ready it is. Um, because I can tell you, I've been deeply disappointed. So here's your river replica. Algae, mildew, leaves, sticks in the water, debris. And there's our flower beds, less than welcoming for park visitors. We have Doritos bags, water bottles, faded signage. We don't know what you're looking at or where, but look at this treasure we have out here, Memphis. Look at that view. And look at the visitors over there by the Memphis sign taking selfies. Unfortunately, they had to walk past this park in the condition that it's in to get there. So I asked Memphis River Parks, I asked the city of Memphis's Riverfront Steering Committee, why did we prioritize Tom Lee Park, which wasn't broken. It was already voted one of the best parks in Memphis by the voters of, uh, by the citizens of Memphis, as it was. But for some reason, Carol Coletta and Memphis River Parks and the, Memphis, Memphis, the city of Memphis's Riverfront Steering Committee prioritized Tom Lee Park. $60 million to go to that park, which wasn't broken, before we maintained what we already had. So now we have these boarded up restaurants that could be pop-up restaurants with breweries and, rest and, and food. We have broken awnings and we have a beloved amphitheater that is sitting out here empty. Could be hosting two to three concerts a week with four to 5,000 people per show. All of those people coming downtown, spending money in our restaurants, in our downtown stores, staying in our downtown hotels. But instead, they're going to amphitheater shows at the, at South Haven, at the uh, Van Corp South Amphitheater. All those tax dollars are going to Mississippi instead of into Memphis, and that's sad. Return on investment, you could not have invested $60 million any better than into a park we already have that would have brought back the music at the beloved Mud Island Amphitheater. And I wanna thank Councilman Jones for fighting for this recent $5 million that the council approved for Mud Island and the $4 million that uh, we helped advocate for through the Downtown Neighborhood Association, which Mayor Strickland approved to put into his Memphis Accelerate plan. But unfortunately, that's a drop in the bucket as to what is needed out here. I mean, this thing is falling apart. Busted lamp post, the brick walkways you nearly trip over. It's not safe for kids or, or elderly to come out here. Even the cameraman from Action News 5 almost uh, uh, tripped over uh, uh, the, the walkway because it's busted up. You don't remodel a kitchen that needs cosmetic changes when you have a hole in your roof. And that's the difference between Tom Lee Park and Mud Island. Mud Island is your hole in your roof. It's falling apart. It's dangerous. It needs investment. But Tom Lee was your kitchen that just, yeah, did it need some upgrades? Sure, but it wasn't broken. You fix the hole in your roof before you remodel your kitchen. And I'm just saying I'm deeply disappointed because when Memphis River Parks rebranded from Riverfront Development Corp, I was hoping that they would prioritize this, bring it back to life, get the concerts back downtown at the unique and beautiful amphitheater, but no. We saw a campaign to lobby state dollars, tax dollars from citizens to invest in Tom Lee Park, which was already voted one of Memphis's favorite parks, just as it was, instead of investing in Mud Island. To this day, I say shame on you, Riverfront Steering Committee, and shame on you, Memphis River Park Partnership. And I think a lot of the citizens in Memphis, the majority of the citizens in Memphis, agree with me. There's no reason we should have overgrown grass out here and, and busted windows up there. Look, look at this. 
busted windows with duct tape. This should not look like this. I hope Memphis River Parks gets on the ball and starts raising money for this out here because it needs 40 or 50 million. They should have put 40 million out here and 20 million into Tomley Park. But no, they didn't. And I'm disappointed. And I think most of downtowners are and most of Memphians. Uh, I hope Action News 5 gets to follow up more on this story. But I just wanted to show you that Unfortunately, once again, Memphis River Parks told us they were going to do something and they were going to clean and maintain something. And here we are following up less than two months later and it looks like poo. It's not flowing. There's no water out here in parts of this. There's trash. There's dead plants everywhere. This is disappointing. It just makes me sick. And Memphis, I can assure you, if I ever get into a position of leadership to where I can hold stuff like this accountable, I will be on top of it just as I was as president of the Downtown Neighborhood Association. I thank you guys and I'm gonna sign off here and try to pick up some of this trash.